Okay, yeah, I like this three, two, one right here. You do? You? Yeah. This little countdown thing? Yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, good morning. Dad's with coffee here. <laughs> Dad's with caffeine. Uh, That's right. Because we're coming to you. Uh, now, I have coffee. Now, I don't know what you're doing. Well, I'm, I, I went and made some coffee. I'm going zero sugar. Uh, I need this El Carnitin, whatever that Stop. is. Uh, you know, be careful. You don't know what you're I saying. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but there's a lot so of... So you're, you're just going to drink what you don't know. Well, God, I'm not as healthy as you are, okay? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Let's talk about our health. I'm going to get a checkup. I'm going to go in Monday for my checkup. Oh, and my like, Holy cow. Yeah, and I came out of that checkup not actually getting my checkup because my insurance wants it to be 366 days. Oh, my Atlanta. And I was, you know, 340. So it wasn't enough. So I... But while I was there... Um, you know, I have, I have my annual earwax problem. Okay. It's a combination it's of cold gross, and allergy. Okay. Hey, you know, uh, I clean my system got cleaned out. So the nurse told me when I left, now you can't you can't tell your wife that she can't hear you. You can't hear me. I'm, like, I'm like, you can go away now. Um, speaking of speaking of wives. Oh yes. So I was helping Keelan set up his uh, his PlayStation in his bedroom uh, the other night, and he was like, hey. You think I get on the Netflix? Sure, we got Netflix, and of course I had to make sure the Netflix comes through clearly. <laughs> and so I go on there and I, I log into I don't know who it is because none of our Netflix names are the actual names of the people. Um, it's a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> birthday boy is Mr. Dingus because that's what I named it because I call his dog Little Dingus, but that's a different story. Yeah. So I went and I found this show, and it was. Uh, some barbecue thing. Hey. And. Good times. I am telling you, Joanna laughs at me when I say this, but the meat coming off those smokers was beautiful. It was just, man, this one guy made jerk chicken that I was salivating for. I was like, I could smell and taste that coming off the smoker. Okay, now you, now you make me have to do something this weekend. It's so cold, though. Welcome to Missouri, right? No? Look, be happy we're not in Missouri, folks, because my people back home are wading through many inches of snow, and there's more falling hey. today. They're calling for freezing rain. My people up in northern Oklahoma are iced <laughs> over. <laughs> I'd rather have snow than ice. I would rather have snow than ice every day. Every we're supposed day to get ice tonight. Yeah. We're supposed to get ice well, tonight. This is a pre-record. Sorry. Put that away. Did we get ice today? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Comment, uh, comment if we got ice today. How much ice night. is at your place right now? Um, because we're pre-recording this week, because here's why. It's a funny story. We talk about giving back to the community. And, yes, uh, getting into the community. Getting into the community. Well, as your youth pastor, yep. it is impossible yep. for me to get into schools. Yeah, yeah. Impo literally impossible. Can't do it anymore. Unless I become a substitute teacher. There you go. And so this guy signed up to be a substitute teacher on Fridays on my off day so that I can get into the schools, so I can meet with students. And since there's no school tomorrow, as it were, I'm substituting right now at Allen Middle School for um, it's sixth, seventh, or eighth grade math. I probably won't know how to do it. Um, yeah, have you noticed that? Oh, it's so much different. You know, my senior math. Back in the day, is like they're this like it's like preschool. Now. They teach it in third grade. Yeah, I mean, my kids come. My kids are, are coming through. Hey, can you help me with math? You were a math minor. I'm like, uh huh. Uh, yeah, we didn't do that. If my sister is watching, she will greatly appreciate this because you do that. She, uh, her son is a math was a math major. In okay, college. go math. The son that decided that he didn't want to go to MIT. Twice, oh. they offered him. Hey, come on up. We want you. We want you to be a physics specialist. Nah, I want to do math. I'm be a math teacher. So now he works at the University of Missouri Columbia in their uh, IT department. Nice. Love and life. Uh, yeah. Great things are yeah. happening there. Found met his wife there. Uh, so it, it all worked out. Right. For good. So what's that got to do with math? Well, he's a genius. Okay. Right? A bona fide math genius. Okay. Savant type. Yes. Um, he get, he understands math. He and Pythagorean would be like best buds. Buddies, yeah. Yeah. They're friends on Facebook. Uh, they are. Yeah. I think in real life, IRL, they're friends. But my sister, on the other hand, 
to college math three times. Not, not so much, afraid. <laughs> she, uh, Laura, I'm sorry, but I mean, sister, I'm sorry. I don't want to out like that. Whoops. Can we get that to edit no. over recording? No. I'm sorry. I love you. Because you stated last week that you want to do one takes. I do like one takes. <laughs> Which is like, kind of what this is right now. I do now. like one takes. Um, so, so, yeah, math. I'll be substituting math tomorrow and today. Um, pretty excited about it just to get to be around kids again. Sure. Um, sure. I think I broke the microphone. No, it's there. It's good. <laughs> Anyway, that's that's not what we came to talk about. So what are we come to talk about today? We don't know. We rarely know. We discussed it over and over. Hey, what do you want to talk about today? I'm not sure. But the one thing that keeps coming back to me. Mm-hmm. Here we go. And if you have Movie time! If you, <laughs> Movie time! If you haven't Get seen it Get your popcorn, yet, people. I'm sorry. Um, oh, don't spoil it. Let's just talk about it generically, but no spoilers. We're going to talk about the movie Soul. If you have watched the movie, comment or chat below whether you liked it or not. Give it a, a one to five. Five is the best movie I've ever seen. One is I, I wasted my money. I hate I hate life. I mean that's kind of where you want one to five. How did you how did you rate the movie? So, so where are you? Um, Be honest with yourself. Well, with myself. <laughs> okay, um, I probably I probably give it like a three and a half. See, I know you hated the movie, so... I give it a half. Oh, come on. It's, were, be, it's better than a half. There were a lot of... Okay. I was disappointed in the movie. Okay, no, okay. You were disappointed in the movie because dude didn't play enough jazz for your taste. Now, you be honest with yourself. And, you be and, honest with yourself. Okay, here's my, here's my thing. <laughs> it has the movie to started do. out so good. So good. He's, he's teaching... Sixth grade band, and if you've ever right. been in sixth grade oh, band, or my around gosh. sixth grade band, it's the seventh level of hell. It takes a very special oh, human yeah, yeah, absolutely. to teach junior yes. high, sixth grade beginner band. Teach sixth grade anything. Tom Higgins, I love you. Yes. Uh, we were awful. I was in fifth grade beginner's band. We were, he made us so good. Harley Patterson, thank you for what you did <laughs> while we were in junior high together because right. you were our band instructor. Wow. Yeah, Letitia Ledesma with my kids. <laughs> I know it, right? You had to, you had to suffer through my children in junior high band, and I, I love you for it. Um, okay, so you a half a star? Seriously, half a, star. a half a star? And not I'm gonna talk you up to one before we're done. You might because it started out, and I was I was bought in when it started out. Teaching band, he's what? teaching band, and he, you're and a little biased that way, though. He finally gets a shot, though. Hey, and he man, I know home. this dude that plays piano. Right. We'll bring him in. We'll try him out. On cloud nine. Never shows. On but he doesn't have any support at home. He didn't have any, I guess. No, Mama didn't want him to be a musician. That's right. Why? And he had that hanging over himself his whole life. If you haven't seen the movie, I would highly recommend checking out right now. Press pause. Go watch go the watch movie. Go watch And then come back. And then come back. And then yep. give us your stars. We'll wait. Uh, okay, so, we're back. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay, but, okay. But he's got no support at home. He's got no support at home. No, what? But he has He has a passion. Sure. His passion was always music. And he thought, in my opinion, he thought by being a band teacher he could pass that passion on. Sure. But he never got to live his passion. Okay. Because his fire was squelched. If you can't do teach. If you can't do teach. Slash coach. Okay. Um. Although more and more now, coaches are good ball players. Um, Those would be called players' coaches. So, Duke falls in a hole. Yes, he does. Spoiler alert! And he dies. Falls in a and dies. And dies. Supposedly. And he's on the he's on the the highway to heaven. Okay. The highway to wherever his soul was going. Right. Which is indescript in the movie. It there was. They're not exact. We're not exactly sure. It was it. going up. He was on the convey. He was it had the, a lot of Buddhist uh, tendencies with the nirvana it did, and the reincarnation. It did. We're not going to talk about the theology of it. Okay. We're not because because I, I didn't watch it for that. <laughs> well, I watched it for the music. It was sort of disappointed. I understand. I understand. And so he meets this old old soul who's been who who has been a difficult individual. Difficult. And why? 
because he didn't know what his why was. Didn't know the why. And we talked about, we've talked about at great length, what's, what's our why? What's our why? Do you know your why? If you don't know your why, you're going to be frustrated. Great sermon series back in... Last, last year, 2020. Six months or more. Go look it up on YouTube. Great sermon series if you haven't seen it. Know your why. What is your why? Why is your why your why? Why, why is... What is the church's why? Um, why do we exist... Yep. Why do we? Yep. Why do we do the things that and, we do? And this individual could did not under didn't know that didn't understand that, and they had attempted and attempted to help the individual discover what the why was, but just never never could never could. And so I guess if if you flip the script from what I wanted the movie to be sure. to sure. what the movie was, sure, I could give you an extra half a star. Okay. He told you. I didn't even have to work very hard. I may mean, get you to two before we're done. You might, but I doubt it. And so it just goes along, goes along, goes along, and I felt like I was treading water. I felt like I wasn't going anywhere. I will say it's a little slow in the middle with all of the attempts. Yeah. I wanted, I, the reason I downed it to where I did is I wanted to see him succeed in the end. And that's but he did. Eh. Okay, you said that he found his, he wanted to live his passion, but he was going to pass his passion on. In six and he was finding happiness in doing that. Okay. So that's exactly what he did again. He helped that person find their passion, and he passed it on to them. Right. And through, be, through being supportive. Okay, so he was a good human. He was a good human. Very good human. He was a he was a great human, very helpful person. But he didn't live his life. No, he didn't. And you know, as as we get into the the this is your life scene. Okay. His life. So was, you've seen it more recently than I have. So I, I'm having I'm, I'm having to play catch up. Keep going. Yeah. Keep well, going. I, I watched it once, and like I said, I was about. I've only watched it once, but you've seen it more recently than me. It was the uh, it was the here's your life right here's your life in video form flashing before your eyes. Okay. Right. That's what I've always said. If I ever get to heaven, I don't. If. No. Wait, oh, I say question. No. What I get to heaven. <laughs> I'm, the, the if was if God were to show me a movie of my life. If God were to show, and I, I take this from Johnny Blackman, if God were to show me a video of my life about what it was, right, and about what He wanted it to be, okay, I hope they're as close as parallel as <laughs> possible, right. I don't want there to be a drastic difference, okay, which is what I think happened in the movie Soul, okay. There was a drastic difference in how. How life was intended for him, and how he lived his life. Does that make sense? He was born to be a jazz musician. That okay. Let's in, say he in the theory of the movie. Yes. Yes, he was born to be because we're we're just torching all theology at this point. Oh yeah, it's well, it's uh, not a don't, it's, it's not a theology you know, movie. Okay, it's not a theology movie to you and me. Okay. But right. I, I think there's a whole lot of theology movie for a lot of other people. And I think there are going to be some people that watch this movie and wonder, is, how, is, is, the, this, the is this the way that it works? Okay, the Bible does not support that. I agree it doesn't support that. But how many people are going to be, how many of our friends of our friends or friends of our family or our extended family that may be watching it, watching this right now, Yeah have those extensions that they don't know what they believe and so now this is well this sounds good my tape is stuck to my jacket you know this sounds good so what let's let's go with this yeah well which is not true okay and we will discuss that next thursday because okay. that theology that theology doesn't track uh with, that doesn't hunt. with christianity um no, if you're if you're you know, if, if your religious beliefs take you down another path, just understand that we as Christians, as Christian ministers, right. we don't believe that. Um, that's that's not how we believe that God has intended right. our afterlife to be. I, I believe you will have service and work to do in heaven. 
I, I don't hold to the idea that we're going to sing at the feet of Jesus with the, the kumbaya for eternity. I don't, I don't hold to that approach. But it's a new kingdom. Right. And, so Right. But I know, you do too, I know a lot of folk who when they talk about the afterlife, it's all just praise and worship. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's all we do. Again, I've never been to heaven. No, uh, haven't have, been. We haven't and, I don't, and I don't agree with the guy that says he has been, but that's a whole different story. Yeah. I'll tell you that. But anyway, maybe two weeks Thursday. Uh, yeah, two weeks from now. We're really setting these things up, aren't we? We're gonna okay, go the, back and watch. the movie Soul. Uh, it didn't. It didn't end the way you wanted it to end. Right. And here's why. How did you want it to end? Okay. So dude goes through Him all this playing stuff. at the jazz center. Yes. That's what you wanted. Yes. Okay. I wanted this. How guy. did it end again? He died. That was again. it. Again. That was it. After he turned into a cat, he goes back, walks the earth for however many number of days. Or did he? I don't know. I don't know. But he never played for the Jazz. He never. He never gets played. Unfulfilled passion. Unfulfilled passion. So what's your passion? Maybe that's where we're getting back to. And are you living it? Are you living it? You know. Are you? Are you? Am I doing what God wants me to do? Oh, now see, that's different. Should I be passionate about what well, God I wants? agree. Yes, you should be passionate about how many people do we know, ourselves included, at different seasons of our life, chased our own passion uh, yeah, and not yeah. the passion that God had for us. I take a lot of things back to my, my Navy days. Um, my passion was the Navy. Sure. Even in 2014 when I decided to retire. Okay. I was so... I mean, I wanted to stay. Right. I, I literally left. When I made the decision, I made the decision kicking and screaming. Sure. Because I knew it was the right decision. Right. Not because it's the decision I wanted to make. But you were at, you were at a more mature moment spiritually. Yes, I was. I was. I mean, and so it was easier at that crossroads. You know, we, we chase passions that are not fulfilling, but we think they will be. We... Like, we I can think of an individual off the top of my head that chased his, chased their passion, uh huh, and it's, it's not what they thought it was going to be. Is it the same individual that I'm thinking of? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you, you know, it may be. You know, and I mean, I did it. Uh, you know, I changed majors in college. Mm -hmm. I went to college because I, I had a dream. And I knew what I wanted to do. He had a dream. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's not go down. No, we're not going it, it may be February, but I'm not going there. Um, I, I, <laughs> that was going. I, I, I knew. I, I had a personal passion, but I never sought God about it. Mm -hmm. I assumed. Yeah. Right. And I entreated God to be on board with my passion. Sure. And I. Yeah, this is what we're doing. Get on board, or. Well, and. You know, well, okay, and it, you know, then I, then there was the negotiation. I want to do this, you know, and if you can't get on board with that, how about I just I give back to charity? I'll do free clinics at the church. I'll go on medical mission trips. Um, I, I, the whole whole thing, right? Negotiation. I wouldn't recommend it. He God, much like others, <laughs> does not negotiate with terrorists. And <laughs> he's not. You're right. You're right. You you know so. I had a passion, but that wasn't the passion that I was supposed to have had. And I guess, you know, we, we're thinking about this more because we have either students in college or, or getting ready to go to college. Yes. So we think back to what, what was driving us. Yep. And I don't, I don't tell my kids, hey, I want you to study X, Y, Z. Right. I will tell my kids, hey, you went to study X. X didn't work out so good for you. So maybe Y what's is better y, for you. What's Y in yeah. life? And, and I may say, you have the skills to do a variety of things. Right. I would love for you to maximize your skill set mm -hmm. in this way. But you got to do what God tells you to do. Right, right. And, you know, I may not, I may not think that what you're choosing is maximizing your skill set, 
But if you could look me in the eye and say, I have prayed over this, I have agonized over this, and I truly 100% believe this, believe this is what God wants me to do, hey, I'm cool, let's roll. Let me, let me help you out however I can help yeah, you out. Yeah. But if you can't tell me that, then I'm going to keep pushing you to maximize your skill set. I want you to do what God wants you to do. But if you can't tell me that that's what you do yeah, for yeah. sure, then we, we got to still talk. Ryan changed his major three times. He was pre-med, hated it. Right. Pre-pharmacy. Okay. Didn't hate it. <laughs> but it wasn't for him. Okay. Because he doesn't want to do eight years. Right. But he loves science. Sure. So what I'm going to be... There you go. I actually double major. Well, yeah. Biology or major. double certification. Biology major, chemistry minor, certain. Certified teacher. <laughs> that takes five years, folks. Um, no matter what, any way you slice it. No matter how you slice it. Three major changes is going to take you five years. Yeah. Even just, <laughs> even just a biology degree with a chemistry minor and a teacher certificate. The teacher cert adds another year to your, to your sure. degree plan. Sure. Um, so if you want to be a teacher out there, plan on five years unless you're walking in with your freshman year finished. Which Parents. is doable. It is doable with dual credit. AP and dual credit, and man. It's the way to go. And I will tell you, um, parents, if watch your child as they're coming up into high school. If they test, in my, our experience, if they are a great test taker, mm -hmm. AP is your way to go because it's cheaper. You get the same credit for a lot less money. If you have a test anxious child, dual credit is the way for you to go. Yes, sir. Every day. Yeah. Uh, I had one of each. Oh, lucky you. And so, and you know, we, we, we figured it out quickly and chose appropriately. And, you know, it's, and, hey, there's no shame or shame. Right. If you, some people just have high anxiety with testing. Yeah. And in that regard, know yourself. Know who you are. Yeah. Know Parents, your know your kids. Know your and, limits. you know, the Bible says to train up a child in the way they should go. Yes. Not in the way I want them to go. Not in the way you want them it's to go. It's so hard, though. Train them up in the way they should go. To let them just go and do. Which, watch this, watch this, watch this, comes back to the movie Soul. Because the mom oh, was yeah. trying to train him up in the way she, she thought he needed him to, to go. go. Yeah. And look at all of the anxiety Look at all the problems, look at all of the headaches, look at all the stress, and ultimately the loss of life mm -hmm. simply because an unsupportive parent was present. And, and took that passion. And took the passion away. away. But when you lost that passion for that, you lost the passion for life. You lose the passion for life because it's wrapped up in God's given you a gift to be used a gift to be shared, a gift to give him glory in. Yeah, yeah. And and we as parents, it's our duty to help them come out of that and to fly with the colors they've been given, mm -hmm. not the colors I want to paint them with. Right. Which is hard as a parent. Yes. You want to try to steer your kids down where you think they need to go. And we can we can say to try to exonerate ourselves as parents, we can say, hey, you get to you're 18, you're on your own. Right. You, it's your choice from this point on. But the 18 years in the formative moments mm -hmm. where we didn't support that dream, right, can ultimately end up in the line of having fallen in a hole because that's what life feeds you. If we aren't doing what we're supposed to be doing, we saw it in the movie Sister Act as well. Sister Act Two, right? Two's better than one. Great movie. Mm -hmm. But uh, is it Lauren Hill? Mm -hmm. Lauren Hill's character, mm -hmm. beautiful, mm -hmm. amazing voice. Mom said, "No, you're not going to be a singer because she failed as a singer." Sure, sure. And of course, obviously, right? I don't want it you dealt to, her a bad deal, so it's obviously, I don't want you, you're not going to live this life. I've already lived that life for you. Don't try to do that. I can't live their life for them. No. Should, should I repeat that? I think I think it's worth repeating. We cannot live their life for them. We have to help them live the life they've been given. Right. As hard as it may be. Yeah. 
All right, one full star. Okay. I'll give it one star. Okay. I'm not... Yeah, I'll give it a star. Come on, you go star. It, it, it was a... It didn't end the way you wanted it to end. But so do most movies that I have to okay, watch. Okay, then how days. about this? It was not what I expected it to be, so I was disappointed. Right. Maybe the movie itself was better, so maybe my grading criteria is flawed. Yeah, you're kind of an emo when it comes to that stuff. I am. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not what I want it to be, I'll tune it out. I'll shut it off. Oh, that, I know. I know. That barbecue show that I'm watching? That's real stuff. I'm not losing that. So what's your favorite kind of wood to smoke with? Uh, whatever Marcus has in pellets, because he has the smoker. Uh, well, I prefer it. Uh, I prefer fruit-based. Okay. Cherry, apple. Doesn't matter what the meat is. You, um, you like the fruit-based every time. Well, I really like apple with pork. Oh yeah. Really, apple yeah, with I pork do is yeah. the only way to smoke. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you know you can use pellets without a pellets? I didn't smoker? know. He told me this the other day. This is awesome. I didn't know this. I was walking through Sam's. And I needed to get wood, and I noticed they had a 40-pound bag for like 14 bucks. Yeah. And so I'm on my phone real quick. I'm on my phone. Hey. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. <laughs> you know, I'm seriously, seriously, I'm sitting there. Hey, Google, can you smoke with pellets without a smoke without a pellet? Sure enough, you can. If I have a layer of white ash charcoal, I can take a piece of foil with, with uh, pellets on it. Two cups of pellets last three hours. Yeah, Marcus's smoker, which he got from his... It was awesome. It works, man. Aunt in law had that, It has a smokehouse blend. It's, it's a blend. Of what? Like maple, cherry? Yeah, hick, hickory, mesquite, uh, and cherry, I believe, was, is the mix. It's a nice blend. So give you a good, a good dark smoke with a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did pork shoulder steaks with it. It was awesome. <sighs> Back home, we just call those pork steaks? Um, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Sam's cuts them like an inch thick, too, man. They're awesome. My brother can throw down some pork steaks. My brother, Bill. He's got a secret ingredient that we don't drink in church. It comes in a can like this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that goes in the sauce. Uh, but, yeah, it's a it's a good show. Worth a watch. Um I don't even know the name of it, so I can't recommend it to you. Right, right. Let's look up Netflix barbecue shows. Go watch the movie Soul. Let us know what you think about now, it. Now, wait a minute. What? This is not We are. This is not a paid advertisement no, for no. Disney or, no, or no. any of its subsidiaries. It's just Dads with Coffee. It's just Dads with Coffee. We're not, looking, we're not getting any monetary gain out of this. We talked about a movie that we both watched and had in common. Tried to tie it back to real-life things, um, which is what Dads with Coffee is all about. Just a conversation about real life things, and <laughs> again, we never know what we're going to talk about, really, until we sit in these chairs. Yeah, and we can even have a plan, and we don't follow it. Yeah, and today's kind of all over the place, but we kind of brought it back. If you want a better one, watch last week. It was really good. <laughs> this one's good. That was really good, though. Uh, we've got we've got a compliment this morning from somebody that watched it earlier this week. Because I don't know if you know, but these stay up on YouTube. Yep. They stay up on Facebook. If you want to find us. Yep. Um, First Baptist Crowley YouTube channel. Subscribe. And then you're going to get you're going to get these. You're going to get every morning. You're going to get something in your email box on Sunday mornings. You're going to get the, the live uh, in your inbox. And it's helpful. And something new that has just been started just this week. As you may see a, a two or three minute clip off of a sermon. Um, just yep. talking about, hey, when we pray. Yep. What's it look like? What's it sound like? Yep. Who's it going to? Um, if you've ever wanted to just have a portion and you know, you want to, you know, maybe there was, you wanted it condensed. Yeah. Because the person that you want to send it to is not going to watch a 30 minute deal. Right. They but, don't want to hear the 45 minutes. Right. Sermon. But maybe they'll listen to eight or 10 minutes. Well, there are, we, we, we're chunking them out. So you can send them to the people you want to send them to. Uh, share it, like it, comment. We'd love to, love to know your thoughts. And, um, this weekend, we continue in high-speed connections. High-speed connections. Yeah, we're going to talk about the relationship uh, that's in, in prayer and what kind of relationship should we have. Um, and we're just going to walk through that. So the uh, rest of this month, we're going to be in. If you, didn't, if you didn't see last week's message, I yep. uh, highly recommend you go back and watch it. Um, I had to go back and watch it on Monday <laughs> uh, because I don't 
you're busy monitoring a lot of things. So there is a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't necessarily get to see on the camera. <laughs> but if you would love to help, we have a spot for you. I, I will share a log if you can, you can have some of the fire. There you go. We would love for that. So, uh, so yeah, Sunday school at 10 a.m. Yep. Uh, first service is at 9. Come for that if you like for organ and piano or 11.15 for uh, band. music and drums or band and you know, guitars and drums. Uh, or if you like both, stay for both. It's okay. I, I go to both services. I, hey, I go to both. And I get something out of the sermon each time. I get something different out of each sermon. You, you know, because it's the same message, but I, it, it comes out different. It does. It just, I don't know. Anyway. Hey, be safe. It's going to get nasty if it isn't already. Uh, it's going to get cold. Um, be careful out there. Uh, but we'll we'll see y'all Sunday. Uh, Dad's with coffee. Love uh, you guys. See you.